Hi everybody, my name is Damien. I'm the customer success manager here at Trade the Fifth. Uh, I'm just going to give you all a quick installation guide on our Elliott Wave uh, indicator for the Think or Swim platform. So once you've purchased the product, you'll receive a little email a little bit like this. Um, basically, it's going to have three links there, as you can see in the blue boxes. All you need to do is individually click each of those, uh, let them download. Now, you don't need to do anything, don't open them, just make sure you've made a note of exactly where you've saved those files. Okay, so here we are in the Think or Swim platform. So now what we need to do is we need to now install the three um, downloads that we downloaded earlier. So to do that, we're going to go to the Edit Studies icon here, which is the little beaker. We're going to click that. And what we're going to do is we're going to press Import. Okay, this is going to import those three downloads. So we go there. Uh, this is why I mentioned uh, make sure you make a note of exactly where you saved these files. I've obviously kept these in my downloads folder. So I'm just going to highlight all three by just holding the control key and clicking. If you're using a Mac, obviously you can use the command key instead. Now we're just going to open these. Uh, it's going to click yes to these. And then we need to actually add them to the study. So we need to find them. So in the search bar here, we're going to type in W5T. Uh, there you go. Uh, it's named that way so it's easier for us to find. So we're going to just literally click each one individually and select and obviously add selected studies to the chart. So it's going to go through each one here, add them in, and then apply. And then we're going to click OK. As you can see, there you go, it's already brought itself in. So what we need to do now is we just need to remove the volume subgraph. So we're going to go up here, go to the equities tab, and then we're going to uncheck the volume subgraph. Click OK and uh, obviously apply and then OK. Now, one of the things you would need to do is obviously isolate the, the wave count. This is obviously so that you can tell the system that you've got a recent high or a recent low and you wish to uh, you wish to create the origin of a trend. OK, so in order to do something like that, what we need to do is we effectively need to, to go in and we need to run our mouse over a candle that's a recent high or a recent low. So we're going to put our, our mouse over that candle there. And as you can see down here, this little shaded yellow is the number of the start bars. So we're going to bring it up here and we're going to take a note of that number, which is number 868. OK, so again, we go back up to the beaker here for the editing studies. Uh, and where we see the price section, we go to the cog next to the Elliott Wave V3 and see here the start bar option. So you highlight that. I would recommend leaving your mouse cursor over the number as you type it. For some reason, it doesn't seem to like it if you take your mouse away from it. But what we're going to do is we're just going to bring in 868. Uh, we're going to click OK. And we're going to apply it. And we're going to OK again. And as you can see now, the, uh, the, the changes have happened. And you can see the pullback zones are in here. Uh, further down. OK. So the other thing we need to do now is we effectively need to try and customize it a little bit. Customize your 6.4. OK. So the way we do that is you see this uh, blue line. I'm just going to bring this out a little bit more so it's easy to see. See the two blue lines here? Or the blue and red line. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the blue line and we're going to edit the study. OK. Now we go back to that page again. But what we're doing is we're coming down to the bottom half. So what we want to try and do is we want to change the low mar and the high mar. So we're going to go down here. This is the red. And we're going to just change the width to 3. OK. Now for the high mar, we're going to change the color from blue and we're going to change it to green. Makes it easier to, to see. Uh, and again, we're going to change the width to 3. I really wouldn't recommend going any thicker than 3. Then it's a, it's a bit more difficult to then read the chart. Again, so what we do is we highlight, apply it. And there you go. Now you've got a much, much clearer view of your chart that you need to do there. So one important thing you don't want to have to do is go through all those steps every time you load up Think or Swim. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to save the workspace and save the style. So first of all, we're going to go up to the top right here where you see Setup. We're going to click that and we're going to save the workspace as. Now we're just going to give it a name. So I'm just going to call it Trade the Fifth Study. And then we're going to save it. Uh, the next bit, we just need to save the style. So a little bit lower down, you see down here where it says style. We're just going to click that. 
and we're going to go save style obviously uh, again we're going to give this um, a name so I'm going to just call this uh, trade the fifth style okay we want to check the include patterns and study set okay so we're going to do that click that and we're going to save it now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause this shut this down and then reopen it again and then show you how to import them and here I have I've just reloaded it back up I've removed any of the old styles uh, obviously back in the gold futures section here so we can scroll through and pick whichever one we want so go for silver for example now we want to just import everything that we had just gone through so we're just going to go up to style here and we're going to load style and we're going to select trade the fifth style and there you have it the entire style that we've just created the the thickness of the of the six four lines uh, everything's all imported it's all there and it saves him to do all that each time the final aspect I want to go through here is just the data set rules okay as you can see here on the screen I've got a little table uh, just depicting the chart time frame and how many days to go back now you can go outside of these but I really wouldn't recommend it uh, what you'll tend to find is it will slow your system down dramatically uh, because there'll be too much information trying to be collated uh, and it will just it will just bring it down to a crash almost so really what you can see here is 15 minutes or less on your chart time frames you shouldn't go back no more no more than five days if you're doing a 50 15 to 60 minutes 60 days 240 minutes is one year uh, obviously daily and weekly two years and five years as well uh, like I said if, if you if you don't stick to those kind of numbers you're going to find that things will slow down you'll find that maybe your numbers will be a bit skewed or you might not even necessarily get uh, the right pushback zones either so if you have any other questions or if you have any comments on this video please feel free to email me uh, you can get hold of me on uh, info at tradethefifth.com thanks for your time